Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon 101.2 Floggers. We could spend hours on floggers, but we have five minutes. So some of you are probably wondering why we're starting with multi-tail whips. The, the reason being is if I ask everyone at home how many of you can drive a car and have a driver's license, most of you would raise your hand. If I asked the same question uh, to all of you as to how many of you know how to fly an airplane, maybe one or two hands would go up, but certainly not everybody's hand. So our ultimate goal is to be able to fly an airplane and all to be proficient with a single tail in the dungeon. But to get there, we're gonna start with driving a car. Almost all of you have thrown a flogger. Uh, many of you own a flogger and a lot of you have most of your experience with floggers. So we're gonna take a quick look at floggers and techniques that we can use in the dungeon to throw a flogger. Uh, but before we do that, let's just do a little show and tell with floggers. A flogger can be made out of almost anything. This one, uh, I've got some homemade variants to show you real quickly. Uh, this is one that's made out of boa tail from like Michael's or Joanne and I did it with a bicycle handle. Uh, those bicycle handles are a little hard to find now because technology's changed, but, uh, but in the day, that was an easy flogger to make. You can make a flogger out of rope and just let the rope untwist and put it on a hook. Uh, this is a, a strand of hair from uh, Sally's Beauty. Okay, makes a nice erotic flogger, easy to make. You can make flogger out of string. So th these are all nice craft projects. They're gonna all create varying sensations. Floggers can be made out of almost anything that can be cut into a tail. This is a very heavy, stingy flogger and the tails are made out of rubber. Specialty floggers can be made out of a variety of materials. This is horsehair. A Palomino donated this to Locks of Love and it turned into a flogger. A really nice erotic flogger is a rabbit fur flogger. Uh, if you have the opportunity to get a Flemish giant tail, you're gonna end up with a, a luscious rabbit hair flogger with made out of one of the, the largest hides. Uh, I think Flemish Giant's one of the largest breeds of rabbit. Uh, so then when you get into leather floggers, you can leave the hair on and make tails, or you can take the hair off. And the shiny side of the leather would be the top grain, and the underside or the belly uh, of the side of the leather would be the suede. If you skim the top grain off and you have suede on both sides, then you have a suede flogger. So floggers tend to run in, in leather from light to medium to heavy. Your lighter floggers would be uh, goat skin or lamb skin, uh, doe skin, which is a, obviously a female deer. Very common lightweight flogger is a deer skin flogger. And then when you move into meat, more medium weight floggers, uh, I consider elk a medium weight. And then this is goat as well, but it's goat that's oil tanned, and the oil tanning process is gonna make that a heavier flogger and stingy. And then moose is quite heavy. So when we look at throwing techniques for floggers, there's static and dynamic throws, and the most common ones that you find are to gather all the tails together and to throw it like a bow and arrow. Probably most of you have done this. You can do it from a variety of angles. You can come sideways, over the top, okay? But don't do it like a towel pop, because when we move to single tail, if you do it like a towel pop, the whip's gonna come back and hit you. Think of it like a bow and arrow, and you leave it out there. Uh, the other throw I like to, to teach is over the shoulder. You just drag it over your shoulder, 
and let the tails fall through with gravity. You can go over either shoulder, okay? And then a very common throw is horizontal. You go back and forth horizontally. And then I'll use my arm and elbow to help keep the, the tails flat. And then the final, th final dynamic throw that I teach is just a forward figure eight or a figure eight. And the goal is to try to keep the tails as close together as you can as such. So those four techniques, bow and arrow, over the shoulder, horizontal, and forward figure eight are the four techniques that we're gonna focus on uh, with floggers. So as we end, I'll show you a specialty flogger that has a tail on either side. And if you use your imagination, you can imagine Someone with two of these doing Florentine would be throwing four floggers at once. We're out of time for today, but stay tuned and come back tomorrow to see our video on cat of nines. And our keyword for today is Turk's Head. Turk's Head.